CBS 4 News at 11 begins with breaking news on the south side. Metro police say a domestic disturbance led to a murder suicide at a family's home. That incident happened earlier tonight near Bluff Road in Edgewood. CBS 4's Max Lewis joins us live from that scene. Max, we've just gotten the tragic details from IMPD. Yeah, good evening, Bob. IMPD calling this an extremely tragic, tragic situation. Here's what we know uh, right now. Yeah, this happened on Waterson Circle at a home in Waterson Circle. I'll step out of the way and give you a look because there's been quite a flurry of activity just within the past 10 minutes. You see they've set up a huge light there. Crime scene investigators have now arrived here and they are now processing this scene. What we know is that police were initially called here for a domestic incident with a weapon. When officers got here, they heard guns shots. There was still somebody on the phone with dispatch when this all happened. They reported that they heard several gunshots. Officers immediately had to go into that residence and they discovered a male deceased as well as another woman deceased. There were also two teenagers that are believed to be related to that man and woman who were found dead. Both of them had been shot as well. One of them taken to the hospital in critical uh, condition. Uh, the, um, we do know that this is, uh, IMPD is calling this a murder-suicide at this point. Homicide investigators did locate a firearm. However, they're not saying who the shooter was, who the aggressor was in this. We know the, uh, the uh, man and woman were found in the backyard of the home where investigators are investigating right now. And the other uh, really tragic detail of this, IMPD did confirm to us that the uh, man here, the man who was found dead, was a former, at least, reserve officer. They believe him to be retired from IMPD at this point. Again, they believe he was a former officer, now retired from IMPD. So really a lot of tragic details here, a really tragic domestic situation. IMPD talking about how domestic situations are often some of the most volatile uh, situations that they uh, respond to. But again, we do know a man and a woman dead here, two teenagers shot. They have been taken to the hospital. One of them is in critical condition. Of course, more details are going to come out as this investigation develops, and we'll bring them to you as we get them. Bob? We know this is a developing story, Max. We'll let you go and gather those new details as well. Again, Max Lewis reporting live from the south side tonight.